Hiya guys, welcome back. As you can see, or here, should I say, straight away, that nasty looping barricading sound has stopped. And we have caught ourselves a bit short. It is 20 past 7 at night, so it is dark. Whoa, hordes of zombies hidden in the trees. And what we really need is to get back to the farmhouse relatively unspotting. No, I'm going to stick to the path. I'm not going to run through the trees like an idiot. I was about to, but I've changed my mind. Yeah, so if we can just get back to the farmhouse without being spotted. Whoa, bloody hell. And hopefully we should be golden to get some sleep. And start fresh tomorrow morning. And this is why I hate running over the fields and in the woods. Very easy to get lost. Oh shit. I think I roughly know where I'm going now. We've got the path back here, look. Just trying to avoid... <coughs> Pardon me, guys. Just trying to avoid as many zombies as possible. They do obviously pathfind for a certain amount of cells, or squares, when they see you or hear you. So, if we can leave as many squares between us and the last zombie as possible, before going indoors, we should be okay. And I think we are okay at the moment. I am hungry, so let's eat some perishables. Let's take some oranges, get some vitamin C in for the next few days. Should do. And if you didn't see in the last episode as well, our sickness did go away. So, thankfully, it wasn't due to a zombie scratch or bite. It was just due, due to eating a overcooked steak. Kind of made us unhappy and stressed for a couple of days as well, since we were ill. But we dealt with that. It was all good. As you can see, we have another skill to upgrade. Blunt blade, carpentry cooking, running, swinging, recovery... I can't pick haul, and that's what I'd like to choose, obviously, because then you can carry more and more stuff. Um, sprinting, running, or swinging, I think I'm going to choose one of those three. Um, we're there already at two each, so let's bring swinging up to two. That should do. We'll upgrade that, and we'll click on done. And when we wake up, we should have a better swing with the axe. Right, now before I had to change all my plans and board up that door, I was going to jump into the sitting room and board up the window from the inside. Obviously we came across five or six zombies in the sitting room, so we had to quickly run away and recoup. Think of another plan. Oh, there's far too many zombies out today. This isn't good. Right, it's early morning, there's too many zombies around my house, so the plan is, go back to town. Again, I'm not going to sprint all the way, because if you do tire yourself out, especially with the fact I'm using a fire axe as well, then do also tire you out very quickly when you're swinging them around. But literally, if I sprinted everywhere, and then became tired... While there was a big massive group of zombies around us, then I would be forced to try and walk away from them. So you might think, oh, well, I can do everything quick if I sprint everywhere. Yeah, great fun. Go ahead. Go for it, guys. But you may well, especially when you haven't upgraded your skills any, any yet, you may well find yourself caught short. Like, imagine if I had to just run out of sprint just there. Or even worse, if that zombie horde had been here. It would have been bad shit. But anyways, while I'm doing all this boring walking back to town, guys, um, I suppose I best wish you a very happy Christmas and a Merry New Year. This episode that you've seen me play at the moment, um, this is Boxing Day. So Christmas Day was yesterday. 
had a lovely day back around with the family. Went and played some bingo up in the local bar or local pub near where I live. Should have won 40 quid, but shouted for my full house uh, one number too early. Didn't realise. Um, just for two numbers later, for that number to actually come out without anybody else shouting in between. So, I threw me 40 quid bingo jackpot down the drain. But never mind, it was still a very fun day. Straight after bingo, went home, had me lovely Christmas dinner with me pigs and blankets and lovely creamy mash that my mother made. Lovely stuff. And then at 7 o'clock at night, tried to, I live about 5 miles away from my parents myself, you see. Um, and there's a lot of like valleys and hills in between. Um, but basically, about 7 o'clock, decided, yeah, time to go home. I'm at work tomorrow. So I tried to phone a taxi. Didn't happen. Obviously, no buses running on Christmas Day. So I had a nice um, two-hour walk home on Christmas Day, right, Christmas night. Luckily, the weather wasn't too bad. It had stopped raining. There was no snow, obviously. It wasn't very windy. It's winter, so you can imagine how cold it was, but to be honest, for the north of England, for this time of year, it wasn't anywhere near as cold as I was expecting, so it wasn't too bad, it was all all fun. Managed to walk off my Christmas dinner in quite a few pints of beer that I'd had. So it wasn't too bad, guys, like I say. And obviously, as I've already said, I hope you guys have had a, a really nice Christmas so far as well, and I hope you've got some good plans for New Year's. I haven't got much planned myself, still working over New Year's as well as Christmas. Obviously working it in my real life job. I don't know why I call it a real life job. It is a real life job obviously, but my other jobs are real life jobs. So obviously my other job working on Zomboid, which I'm still working on as well, obviously. I'm putting a lot of uh, blood, sweat and tears into all the NPC coding for the next version. If you want to know a lot more about what we do actually have planned for the NPCs in the next version. Um, not Monday gone, but the Monday before blog post. Um, I do believe it's that one anyways. Was a nice big blog post about NPCs. Um, with a one hour podcast featuring myself, Lemmy and Bat Sphinx. Um, all talking about... Um, what we already have planned for NPCs for the next build, what we've already got done for that, what we still need to do for that. And then after that, basically our plans for the future of story mode in NPCs. Such as, for example, we now plan when you're playing sandbox mode, um, once you've completed, um, say for example, Kate and Ballspot's story mode, you will then be able to find them persistent in sandbox mode while you're playing as your character. So you could easily run across Kate and Ballspot's house that you're used to from the story mode, run into the house and, you know, for example, you could find them having a fight with a radar or you could find um, the house on fire with Bob trying to save Kate because he's accidentally burnt the soup. You know, all that type of stuff. And obviously we have all the uh, different ways you can um, first come across NPCs. There's going to be a ton of them in the next version. And then on top of that, you're obviously you're going to have um, quest givers. So you may come across an NPC who's too ill to move around, but he needs um, certain items. And if you go and get them for him, he will trade. As well as many other things. Like I say, if you want to know everything we talked about, um, the podcast is hosted on my channel. It's under my vlogs. And it's just... Um, Project Zomboid NPC podcast, and I believe it was the was it the the 18th or the 12th or something? I believe it was released something like that. So if you are interested, what's coming NPC and story wise in the future, which you should be because there's some uh, immense changes coming. Do make sure to pop over and have a listen to that. It is an hour long, but obviously YouTube's great. So if you stop watching a video at a certain point and come back to it later, it normally remembers where you left off. Obviously, there's not too much we really need from town. But since we had to come here anyways, since the farm was overrun, we might as well just pick some stuff up. All these extra cans of pop and pies and stuff like that, tins of tuna. Give us a tin of tuna. I can't get it. It's on the floor. No, never mind. Yeah, a bit of fresh food in the fridge. 
9 mil rounds. I think I've got as many tin openers as I need. A couple of zombies have seen us through the window, but there shouldn't be a problem. Obviously, one thing I haven't really showed you guys yet, um, which we can do, is make lots of different types of food. There's a lot of... Uh, Whoa, what's a bit strange with that? There was a lot of recipes added in the previous version. Me and one of the forum members, Adric the Great, spent a lot of time adding loads of new recipes and balancing them all and stuff like that. So that was pretty good fun. They're all in. Obviously, some of them still need balanced a bit more and stuff like that, but you can make some uh, some good soups, peanut butter sandwiches, a few other things like that. Mainly going for the crisps and the pop here at the moment. Two things I do love in real life, but obviously because they're tinned and uh, pre-packaged goods, they should hopefully last quite a while. Yeah, the zombies banging against the windows there. Nutting the windows, trying to get in. Lots of bread here. What time is it? Eee, Christ! I didn't realise what time it was. I'm thinking why the hell is it getting so dark? Alright, let's get out of here. around oh shit the zombies in there I was going to hide in there you see oh no so I hate being out at night there always seems to be so many more zombies roaming around ah we don't look too bad up here do we Quickly, let's just get in here. Straight to bed. It's 10 o'clock at night. And we'll see if there's anything still left worth looting in this house. When we get up in the morning. Another skill to upgrade. But we're going to do running or sprinting as well. So... Uh, 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 let's go for running first. Seems to make sense to do running before sprinting. Six in the morning, we've woke up a little bit too early. Vitamin C. Fill with stomach and also wake up a bit. More 9 mil rounds. Sheets. Magazines and books. I'm not bothered about clothes or pillows or nothing like that at the moment. But again, I mean, I'd rather be back at the farm making loads of stuff, you know, chopping loads of wood, improving my safe house, even, you know, when I get bored coming back down here. To improve my safe houses down here as well with all the wood that I've collected. But like I say, it was overrun. It was a little bit dangerous to stay there yesterday. But I suppose, we're, you know, we're going to need all this extra stuff at some point if we survived long enough, so. There's no bad thing coming down here now. Cupboard's blocking the way, I can't climb in that window. Can with that one though. I know I've already been in most of these houses at some point already, but this is like, what, part 14 or something like that? So I can't keep remembering everywhere I've already been. And obviously some houses I've been in but haven't actually bothered looting yet. Some I have. I 
think we're, oh Christ. I think we might spend another day down here. It's got to be two or three hordes, surely, that one. We'll spend another two or three days down here, if that. Maybe it's, maybe it's just a day. Before heading back to the farm, hopefully things will be a little more less hectic and we can start barricading some stuff up. Looks like that NPC when he died was starting to use the pub as a safe house. Unlucky, sir. With regards to the other series I've been playing at the moment as well, guys. Obviously, I've been doing um, Mia's Matter, which started off... Oh, shit! Shit! Listen to me heartbeat. Extreme panic. I'm not surprised. I can't believe I just ran into them there. Um, if I had done that in the new version as well, guys, um, that's that's basically certain death. Um, zombies now block each other's path. They are physical entities, if you like. Um, so I couldn't have just run through them like what I did there, and they can't run through each other neither. Um, you knock zombies down onto the floor, and like I say, they are physical objects when they're on the floor. You can't just walk over the top of them. Starting to calm down a bit now. Right, what was I saying? Yeah, that was it. I was going to talk about um, my previous series that I've been playing at the moment. There's uh, been, obviously, Mia's Matter, um, Afterfall Insanity, Neo Scavenger, um, Waking Mars, and a few others. Um, obviously, some of those series are newer than others, and some of them are, are, are pop more popular than others. A couple of them are, do seem to be going downhill, um, view wise and like wise so all I can really imagine off that is that you guys are, are, are kind of getting bored of them and like I've said um, with me other series not Zomboid but with any other series um, if that does start happening then okay I, I will you know if I'm enjoying the game myself I may well still do videos of it anyways but if I'm also getting bored of the game um, I will either just stop playing them um, unless people start kicking up enough, enough people start kicking up a fuss to say that they want it back um, or I may ask you guys first um, if you would rather me keep going with a certain series or start a new series on something else instead. I'm not quite, not really too sure yet. But the likes of um, Mia's Matter, all the views and the likes and the comments seem to have really dropped off those at the moment. So I may well stop doing that just for now, just so I can bring you guys a different series which you may enjoy more. But like I've said in my me, um, me first vlog video, any game that I do stop doing doesn't mean it's dead for good. There's always a chance it can come back at any point in the future, especially if uh, you guys are complaining enough to say that, you know, what on, hell did, what, what on earth did you stop this game for? Bring it back, it was the best one you are playing, or, or whatever, you know. So don't get too, too disheartened if you don't see game been up uploaded for a little while it may just be the fact that i'm waiting a couple of days before I upload a new episode or like i say it may be because i'm focusing on a new series or a series that is getting more views and likes but yeah i think i'm gonna have to ask you quite soon about me as matter um and quite possibly after fall insanity because again those both did start off quite well but the views and the likes and stuff really have dropped off lately um, which again, like I've said, yeah, just really kind of leads me to believe that you guys are getting a bit bored of those series now and you would rather see something else, um, whether that be a new series or a series that I'm already in the middle of doing. But Neo Scavenger still seems to be doing brilliantly. Even the latest episodes seem to still be getting views um, just kind of like what the first and second episode did. So you can still expect to see a lot more Neo Scavenger over the next uh, couple of weeks at least. Obviously more zomboid. You know what it is, I've got all this fresh food now that I've picked up. Um I just want I wanna get back to the the farm now to try and store this up before it goes bad. And I'm pretty sure I'm seeing the same as you's that my running, you know, updating the, the skills, upgrading the squills really does make a difference. I'm able to run a lot further now without getting um, tired. It's all good. 
Yeah, so definitely more newer scavenger, obviously more zomboid. Um, I've recently been playing a bit more of um, Don't Starve, which I love, and I'm starting to get a lot better at, so I was going to do another, se another series on that.